Hey guys, so in the last video, we memorized the order of a list of five words using this memory palace here, our five loci memory palace. And so now what I want to do is just take you through two of those examples and show you how I can use those to memorize foreign language vocabulary, specifically Spanish language vocabulary. Okay, so you notice that the, you remember that these two words were apple and company. Okay, so what we're going to do is we had apple, if you remember, we envisioned the apple kind of going into the disposal there and getting chopped up and kind of spraying all over the sink. And so what we're gonna do now is add another image, a second image into this locus along with our image for apple to represent the Spanish word, the translation. So the Spanish word for apple is manzana, M-A-N-Z-A-N-A. -A -A. So we have the apple there and then we wanna uh, come up with an image for manzana. So manzana is kind of a difficult word. So again, like we did in the last video, we're gonna break it down. So when I think of manzana, I think of man as part of it, and then sand. So man, sand kind of sounds like manzana. So we have the apple there, and then it's spraying all over the place, and maybe it's spraying out and hitting this man in the face there. So he's standing there, he gets hit in the face with a bit of apple, and so he goes over and he takes this big sandbag and he just throws all this sand into the disposal to cover up the apple. So that's our little story there, and then with that, we can remember, okay, apple, man, sand, manzana. So apple is manzana in Spanish. So that's how we do it. So we'll move on to the next one. So that one is company and we'll do the exact same uh, kind of thing. So if you remember, this was this cabinet was our second locus. And so we envisioned all these tiny little cubicles with people sitting at desks inside all covering up this cabinet. And so now in Spanish, one of the ways you can translate company, one of them is compañía and one of them is la empresa. Uh, compañía is kind of sounds just like company, so we'll, we'll go with the empresa uh, translation. Okay, so empresa sounds a lot like uh, empress. So what we're going to do is, this will be pretty easy, we'll just imagine kind of a fierce uh, empress standing maybe right here, uh, dressed in this kind of royal garb, and she's just commanding all of these poor office workers to just work harder and harder and harder, and she's the empress of the company. So that'll give us... Company, empresa, empresa means company in Spanish. So there we have it, we have two words. Now we've, uh, we've successfully, pretty quickly I think, learned uh, the translations of two different words in Spanish, manzana for apple, empresa for company.